My name is Ron Hathaway. I'm a retired veteran from the United States Air Force. I had three combat tours in my time. Once I retired from the Air Force, I got into civilian life. I actually landed myself a pretty good job. It was paying me really, really good money. But after a short period of time, I started to have a lot of problems. Sleeping, concentrating, angry outbursts, nightmares, anxiety, depression. And I got farther and farther from work and my family. I finally ended up getting fired from my job. So things continued to slide and I became more and more of an isolationist. I would sit in my garage all by myself in this little recliner I had, smoke cigars all day long. I didn't talk to my family. I have a little seven-year-old granddaughter that for the first four years of her life, I couldn't even be in the same room with her. I'd stop taking care of myself completely, wouldn't shower, spend my days sitting in the chair, thinking of ways that I was gonna be able to kill myself. It had gotten so bad that everybody in my family would rather not have me around. Finally, my wife got me to go to the hospital and I was put in an inpatient program for PTSD. One of the things they asked me to do was go down to Bravehearts and do some horseback riding. And I didn't know nothing about horses. They ate out of the front end and they crapped out of the back end. And that's about the extent of what I knew. One of the instructors there shook my hand and asked my name and said, Ron, I'm so happy you came down today and we're gonna have a great time. He got me on Boone. As I'm walking away on Boone's back, looking down at his ears and looking down at his mane. And I just let out this huge breath, just a big whew. And it just seemed like things melted away. And for that, uh, 20 minutes that I was on the back of that horse. No other thoughts. All the gnats of life were not buzzing around my head and bothering me and causing me any anguish or problems. I didn't have any worries. I didn't have anything but me and that horse moving together in a nice smooth movement. And uh, I, I really enjoyed it. And then Bravehearts kept popping into my head and I kept thinking of Boone and about that ride. And it was really an alien thing to me because it had been so long since I had feelings about anything. I just realized that I wanted to go back. So I went back, rode a little bit more, had a better time. This time I started talking to the people that were around me and talking about the experience I had on the horse. It just really consumed every single thing about me, about my day and my night. I just was so excited to be around the horses and to feel that horse underneath me. I continued to go to Bravehearts. I got out of the hospital and I've been here for about two years now. Since I started riding, I have so many more great days. I still struggle sometimes, but all I have to do is find myself a horse. I get right back into the mix of things. I've become a PATH certified instructor so I can teach other people how to ride. I've lost like 30 pounds in weight. I have the greatest relationship with my family than I've ever had. My granddaughter that I couldn't even get in the same room with is everything to me. I spend as much time as possible with her. Last Saturday we had her seventh birthday party and I told Megan if it wouldn't have been for her and the horses and what Bravehearts has done to get me back to a person again, I wouldn't have even been there. I would have been sitting in my recliner or I would have been dead by now. So I owe my life to these horses. I really wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for them.